I'm Swiss, so and Switzerland is not only famous for mountains, chocolate and cheese, but we're also famous for old trains. Uh, we like after the Japanese, we are the nation that travels the most by train. And because it's quite a small country, also in my daily life as a consultant, I traveled a lot by train. So I use the train to go to work, uh, but I also use the train to visit customers. And often it happened uh, that, yeah, that I go with a colleague to a customer and then we always had to arrange like which train do we take, where do we meet? And uh, that was uh, quite a hassle because, you know, you, you send around like print screens of the, well, of the uh, train table website and all that stuff. And uh, I was thinking there should be another way. And uh, I created a proof of concept by uh, like integrating an open, a uh, open data API uh, as a core pilot plugin. And this is uh, what I want to show you today. Maybe uh, like a few information about myself. I'm an MVP in regional directors. I'm based in Barcelona, but I work for Swiss customers. If you want to get in touch with me, feel free to add me on LinkedIn. Now let's have a look about the solution. So as I say, said, there is an open uh, data API that provides train time, uh, timetable data. And what I created is a, like a backend on Azure. Uh, based uh, on the bot uh, framework, and then a Teams message extension that allows you to send like this uh, train uh, timetable uh, in a Teams message. And the same message extension can be used also as a Microsoft 365 Copilot plugin. But yeah, let's uh, let's have a look how this uh, how this looks like in uh, in real life. So here I am in Teams, and I can. Uh, like open my message extension, and then I can start typing and looking up for a query. Uh, so I can say, okay, a connection, let's say from Bern to Zurich, and then in the backend, uh, like the this API is called, and I get like uh, some train connection. But I can also say, okay, no, not not right now, but tomorrow at like nine o'clock uh, in the morning. And then I get these uh, these connections here. I can click on one, and then I have this nice adaptive card uh, with all the details. I can even buy a ticket, which brings me to the website of the Swiss railway company. And I can share that with my colleague, and then we know, okay, tomorrow we're going to take the train at uh, nine o'clock. So this is a, like the, the basic functionality that we maybe all know. Maybe just one thing to mention is that uh, like the, the query that I type here. This is uh, like kind of analyzed uh, by, uh, let's say, Auto or another Swiss town. This is analyzed by uh, like a chat by uh, Azure OpenAI. So we we call Azure OpenAI and ask, uh, please extract the information about the start and the end location and like maybe also so information about the preferred travel time. So that's uh, what we maybe know. But uh, the same message extension can be used as a co-pilot plugin. And here is where the fun starts. So first, uh, you need to activate that plugin. Uh, it's already activated, and then you can kind of ask the same query, uh, like let's say SPB, which is the name of the, uh, the railway company, and then uh, just type in burn to Zurich. And then the uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot knows, hey, now I need to call this plugin, and I need to like extract information. I need to like get that information from the back end and then present that in a uh, with natural language uh, to the user back. That uh, obviously takes some time. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna wait until it's done. Uh, but yeah, here we get like uh, real time informations. And when I hover over, I have the same adaptive card. Uh, and I activated the developer mode. And with this, I get some information. I see, okay, which plugins are uh, enabled, and then which function was uh, kind of matched to my query. And I see also like that the, that the function was executed successfully. So this is very helpful if you play around uh, with that. Just type developer uh, on, and then this mode will be enabled, and you have some details, uh, and you know when your uh, 
uh, if and when your plugin uh, is, is get called. Now uh, let's have a look at the code. Uh, what you need to do? Um, this is a project in Visual Studio, uh, like yeah, 2022, uh, based with the team toolkits. Uh, what you need to do is create a message extension and make sure that the manifest has version 1.16. And then uh, the, to, to use it as a, as a co-pilot plugin, you know, to, you know, just to describe what does your what does your message extension do? Uh, you need to describe what does your like uh, function do, your command do, and then you also need to describe the different uh, parameters. So normally in a message extensions, I only have one parameter, but uh, with the new uh, manifest version, you can add multiple parameters. So here we have like four parameters: the start location, end location, date, and time. And we have like the description for all these uh, parameters. And then this like kind of magic happens that uh, Copilot maps my inputs, my prompt to these parameters and calls my message extensions uh, from there. The code itself, we don't dig too much into it because it's just like uh, this message extension that uh, is called. If it's just one parameter, I know it's called as a Teams message extension, just uh, and I like extract the information using Azure OpenAI, and otherwise I have the four parameters and I can use this data to call the Open, AI, uh, open Data API and get back some train information. Now let's uh, get back to the slide. Apparently, I, I, I talked quite a lot, uh, quite fast, so because I'm almost done. Just one thing that is that really amazes me about like Copilot and the integration of this plugin is that kind of human language becomes the API layer between uh, applications. So before we, when we wanted to to kind of connect to a system, we had to kind of write code. But nowadays, what we need to do, we just need to put a proper description, and then Copilot uh, kind of wires that together and knows, okay, when I come with a prompt and I'm looking up a train journey, uh, then I need to call uh, kind of this command, and then this calls this code. So that's uh, pretty amazing, and I'm thinking we're at the beginning of a journey, uh, like Copilot is evolving every day, and I'm really looking forward to what kind of solution that we can build in the future using this technology. If you want to play around with that, there are two good links to start. On one hand, you have a Microsoft Learn page, which explains how to build these message extensions. And then uh, also very helpful are some uh, samples on GitHub. I will paste the, the links later to the chat, so this is the, the place to start. And with this, I'm already done. <laughs>